Greetings everybody, welcome. M0YKS back on the Ionospheric Radio Wave DX propagation mission. Searching for the Holy DX. So yeah, we've got the uh, radio back on again. It's finished working for the afternoon. And uh, I've got 20 meters on. Just checking out the conditions, seeing what DX is coming through. Earlier we had some big signals coming in from states across the pond. And this morning, some nice contacts. Uh, coming in from uh, the far east of Europe so nothing too spectacular uh, exotic today uh, but uh, still quite enjoyable so let's have a quick listen around and uh, to see what signals are still coming through the sun's just gone down uh, it's just getting to the twilight part of the day here in uh, West Yorkshire and the local time is 11 minutes after 5 o'clock in the evening at 17.11 UTC or 1711 Zulu 9M0 YKS so welcome to the shack once again and thanks for keeping up with this little series of uh, videos I'm putting out to do with the propagation so it's all about the solar propagation and uh, how we check it out different times of the day that's the uh, idea of this uh, set of videos and just seeing how it changes so uh, obviously different times of the year uh, make a big difference we're in the winter months at the minute this side of uh, the, the globe so the openings tend to start around about 10 o'clock and knock off around about this kind of time on that particular band so right now we're well, going to have a quick listen in and see if we can hear any DX signals coming through thank you for keeping up Yeah, okay, very good, uh, Gordon. Yeah, the guy, the host was Nicholas Parsons. Uh, Nicholas Parsons. Does that ring a bell at all? Over. So, yeah, we've got a local station about 50 miles from me in Sheffield. I've heard him many times. The G station. And he's talking across the pond nicely. So he's got a good propagation path in the South Yorkshire. So a quick flick of the band and uh, the stateside signal was booming through still. But as you can see, quiet, a slight bit of static noise is coming in as well compared to earlier. That'll be uh, from the street lights, the house lights. And that's what he did. And uh, but the, the wind generation people, they said we had no idea this was happening, and we will find out what's going on. So they were just absolutely great. And uh, to the point where after the uh, the fix, uh, for about two or three weeks later, I kept getting a phone call from uh, from the wind generation people saying everything's still okay, no problems. So they were uh, they were great to work with. And I've contacted them uh, once in a, a, about two weeks ago. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask a question. Um, the the power company had the uh, the system shut down uh, back a few weeks ago, where uh, they were repairing a couple poles uh, within the area. And when they shut the system down, they were going to be shut down for three or four hours. So I went and uh, grabbed the generator and, and uh, lit the, uh, the, my property back up again with the, my generator to see what the noise levels were like. And my noise level with the generator was around the, on 80 meters, was around an S2. Uh, and then when the power came back on, it was an S6. So there's about four S units of noise in there. So I contacted the, uh, the wind people and I said, uh, just kind of curious uh, on uh, you know, some information. When the uh, power company shuts things down, do you guys stop generation? And they said, no, we continue to generate no matter what. We have our own system that uh, was 65 kilometer line into the into the city. So, uh, so the, the the 4S unit is from the uh, power utilities themselves. Over. 
Well, that was, that was very interesting bit of information. I love where the shortwave listening perspective of this hobby, as I said before. Find out lots of great information and real stories of uh, real experiences. And that guy across the pond there, he's obviously getting some uh, some opportunity to test out where the noise is coming from and uh, pinpoint it down to the wind turbines. Very interesting. And an exceptionally good signal coming in as well. So yeah, we're still beaming in that direction, obviously. Bit of SSTV coming in. I would imagine that's probably coming from Europe, from the back of the beam. So yeah, fairly quiet on the band. Just a couple of big signals coming in from across the pond and no Europeans whatsoever. Maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. So yeah, that's Kurt in Trinidad, zero signal and a radio free, but with no noise whatsoever, we're pulling him out. Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean, that's quite interesting, so the propagation's definitely dropped down then. I heard him earlier on 17 around lunchtime, and what he was a bit stronger, not so strong, usually a very strong signal. Nines in U4 Foxtrot Echo. So yeah, fantastic when you can hear those weak signals. No noise level. Using the Yagi, the Pushcraft MA5B. Superb. As the propagation is probably dying down, I'd say. So yeah, I'm just going to flip that down and see if we can get a quick contact on this uh, propagation check-in. I hope you're enjoying the little sequences. We'll come back maybe with one later in the evening. And if we can get up early enough, we'll try in a very early morning. On 40 metres or 80 metres perhaps. So I'll just check out whether we can hear any uh, signals from the far side of the states. So yeah, I'm just going to monitor this frequency. Uh, 213, 14, 213, 20 meter band. Sounds like there's a, a stateside net. Interesting to see how many uh, guys are pulling in at uh, 20 minutes after 5 in the evening, 17.20 UTC, 17.20 Zulu, here in North England, IO93, ground station of M01KS, atmospheric radio wave propagation, just searching for the Holy DX. So yeah, sounded like we could hear the net controller, but uh, nothing else of anyone else in there. 
quite often the case usually the net control is the best signal obviously makes sense so you can uh, pick up okay, on everybody uh, from here oh, yeah there's a little bit of qsd in there but uh uh, we have you uh, logged in at uh, 1719, and also for um, uh, K4LWA, uh, we have you logged in at uh, 1716, and we uh, do log uh, via QRZ and LOTW. Okay, uh, Joe, well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, that's uh, not bad for 30 years there. <laughs> All right, uh, next on the list is uh, NA4DX, uh, Larry. Uh, come on, uh, come on in here and uh, uh, give us a uh, little story, and then we'll uh, move on to uh, take a couple more check-ins. Go ahead, Larry. So yeah, let's hang about a second. Maybe try and get a quick check-in if possible. So yeah, these are just a set of uh, short video clips I'm putting together, and. Uh, it's just a bit of a different kind of view, just checking out the band conditions throughout the different times of the day, throughout the week, when it's uh, generally a lot quieter than the weekend. So we're just uh, seeing what we're hearing. And obviously, like I said earlier, the time of the year, winter months, it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the openings are a lot shorter than what they could be. But each day we're getting a few hours nearer to the uh, daylight few minutes just say not a few hours a few minutes or a few seconds even uh, and each week a few minutes so we're getting there and uh, it's always worth checking so I'm gonna get up earlier to get the 80 meter DX but uh, obviously the 20 meter DX is staying on a little bit longer it's all about the propagation so keep an eye on the, on the solar cycle as, it, as we get into it it's just starting to uh, warm up so always interesting to see what signals are coming in and whereabouts are coming in from. The name of the game is to uh, work all the different parts of the world, obviously. Get the different DXCC in the log. And uh, once you've got all the DXCC in the log, then you're going to try to do it on a different band. And start all over again. And then once you've done that, you can try it on a different mode. Or we maybe try digital mode or CW mode. But uh, I'm a, a voice mode guy, as you know. But yeah, the next gone quiet. We're not hearing anybody else, just me talking. But uh, obviously there is some DX there. I'll just give it a couple more seconds. Then I'm going to move down okay, the band. Yeah, fine, Larry. Um, any four DX and eight HHC. Uh, yeah, I, I sent you that video. Um, so yeah, interesting is he went up to a, a good S9 on the last over, now he's dropped right down. And the outside is dark. When I first started, we had the twilight. So in that matter of uh, 10 minutes, the signal's just fading fast. So let's have a quick uh, skip up and down. I don't know if we have any contacts this time around. I'm waiting for the tuner, the auto tuner to get here. It should be here in the next 10 days or so. And, uh, and that signal's so dropped off as well, if you remember. That was a bit stronger earlier. Still good, though. All right, well, listen, have a great day. And uh, your mobile sounds fantastic. And uh, nice hooking up with you. Look for you down the log a little bit. 7-3s uh, for now. This is WHQI. Yeah, some serious QSB fading fast. Very interesting with the ionospheric uh, changing there. As the, as the, uh, the outer layer is getting less sunlight on it, the uh, electric charge is not quite as good and the reflection is not quite as strong. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. No, oh, that's to be on that one, but you've got to try, aren't you? Bit of optimism. So I'm just going to have a quick flick up and down. As we come up to the end of this little short video on the DX propagation 
round about this kind of time of night, just as the sun's going down, or gone down now. It's possible that we may get a bit of bounce back when the signals may return a little bit later on the band. But uh, probably not. It's always worth checking. Sometimes you get some pockets of of the old E's coming up sporadically, and uh, stranger things have happened, and big signals pop up. So just going to have a quick uh, check on the other band. Not even getting a data signal on 17. So generally, that's a pretty good sign that there's nothing coming through. And a bit of noise is getting picked up as well from the uh, street lights and household interference so yeah it'll be uh, interesting to go down to the other other bands as the evening draws in again very noisy but a little bit of 40 meters is probably the best option for hf propagation for the next hour or two or longer possibly and then later on I'd suggest going down to 80 metres, which is probably what I'll end up doing. My QTH is about 25 km north from the border to Slovenia and Italy. Golf 4, Whiskey Queen Golf, OEA-ANK, over. So a nice signal coming in from Europe. Very good copy. I'm using the vertical antenna at the minute. So this is the kind of time where you're going to get some nice uh, European short skip at 40 meters. Not necessarily any energy. I'll just check the top end of uh, 80 meters, see whether there's any DX to be heard. Because uh, also you can get some strange openings early in the evening. But yeah, all is quiet at the moment. We'll come back there later. So basically, the bands are definitely quieting down, not being the best um, day to day for activity, but one or two nice contacts earlier, as we heard. So next time I come back, I'll be uh, operating from a different time. But yeah, everywhere is dropping off. That's uh, Lou in Spain. He's usually really strong. So 20 is shutting down as the sun's going further to the west. So that'll just about do it for this particular episode. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. Again, thanks very much for keeping up and uh, all the comments. And uh, I'm glad you're liking it. One or two nice comments and emails. So enjoy the rest of the uh, videos I'm going to be doing. Keep an eye out for them. And uh, keep an eye out on the solar propagation. Let's hope that we're going to get some decent lifts uh, in the next few days. And uh, hopefully over the weekend to come. So enjoy the rest of the evening, guys. And uh, I'll be surfing the bands. So I've got my family uh, tended to, I've got the kids to uh, keep occupied for an hour or two and then I'm going to be uh, getting back on the old radio so you might see me again but maybe it'll be tomorrow before I put a next propagation report in so until we do that, wish you all the best indeed stay safe out there once again and thanks very much indeed for everything and everybody M0YKS, Yorkshire England and the DX Propagation Hunt looking for the Holy DX.
the ionospheric reflex. See you later.